Hello friends, I am going to discuss illustration number 3 of CMA final SFM capital budgeting. Please read the questions here. Look at it. Illustration number 3. 9 games limited are just installed or are costing rupees 2 lakhs. This is the one machine R that cost is rupees 2 lakhs. The machine has a 5 year life has no residual value. The annual volume of the productions and estimated is this 1,50,000 units is produced. Okay. Which can be said sold rupees 6 per unit, selling price per unit rupees 6. Annual operating cost are estimated rupees 2 lakhs, excluding depreciation. This is the operating cost rupees 2 lakhs. On the output of the fixed cost rupees 3 per unit at the this level. At the this level of output, 1,50,000, fixed cost is rupees 3, that is rupees 4,50,000. This fixed cost remain the same even if output increase or decrease. Okay. Whenever fixed cost is fixed cost is given per unit, then we have to calculate fixed cost per unit at the production level at which fixed cost is given. Thereafter, either production level increase or production level decrease, fixed cost remain same. Fixed cost remain same. In this case, nine games has just come across the another model called machine S. Now the nine company is thinking for the another model of the machine S. Machine S given the same output annual operating. This is the same output. But here in the case of machine R, operating cost was operating cost was rupees 2 lakh, but the same output but operating cost reduced by rupees 20,000. This is the operating cost rupees what 1 lakh 80,000. It means operating cost of existing machine is rupees 2 lakh, operating cost the S is 1 lakh 80,000 your operating cost is going to decrease by 20,000. Your operating cost is going to decrease by 20,000. There will be no change in a fixed cost. Capital cost of the machine is 2,50,000. Cost of the machine is 2,50,000. The here the cost was 2 lakh. And the estimated life is 5 years remaining. All things are same. The cost of machine is going to increase by 50,000. The company has offered the sale of R rupees 1 lakh this is a sale of the R rupees 1 lakh but the cost of dismantling and removal will be rupees 30,000 cost of removal is 30,000 it means if you are going to sell the machine in 1 lakh and removal cost is 30,000 it means you will have rupees 70,000 only your in your hand if you want to sell the machine R and S 9 games has a zero tax company for the seven year view several incentives allowance available the cost of capital 15 percent present value factor is given advice whether the company should opt for the replacement will there be any change in your view if the machine r has not been installed but company is in process of selecting one or other machine machine R is not installed. In this case, you will have to calculate the separately net present value and which you will have higher net present value that you will have to accept. Okay. Now I am going to evaluate the projects. Okay. In first, working note first, calculation of present value of cash outflow, incremental cash outflow. working note first calculation of present value of incremental cash outflow cost of machine S 
टू लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड कॉस्ट ऑफ मशीन आर टू लाख इंक्रीमेंटल कॉस्ट इफ यू आर नॉट इंस्टॉलिंग मशीन आर देन यू विल हैव टू जस्ट थिंकिंग दिस इज द फिफ्टी थाउजेंड यू विल हैव टू पे मोर फॉर मशीन एस ओके वर्किंग नोट सेकेंड नो नीड टू कैलकुलेट depreciation because no tax liabilities liabilities okay now calculation of incremental saving due to working note 3 calculation of incremental saving due to installation of machine s installation of machine s okay machine r मशीन एस दिस इज इंक्रीमेंटल यूनिट प्रोड्यूस्ड प्रोड्यूस्ड वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड यूनिट वर प्रोड्यूस बाय बोथ द मशीन सेलिंग प्राइस पर यूनिट इज गिवेन एयर six six sales revenue rupees 9 lakh here 9 lakh less operating expenses in the case of r this is a 1 lakh 80000 so, sorry this is a 2 lakh This is one lakh eighty thousand. Fixed cost, variable this. This is a fix. Four lakh fifty thousand. Four lakh fifty thousand. Cash inflow. In this case, two lakh fifty thousand. In this case, two lakh seventy thousand. Incremental cash inflow is twenty thousand. Now we can calculate net present value. Calculation of net present value. Present value of cash inflow minus present value of cash outflow. Here, twenty thousand is your initial incremental cash inflow present value annuity factor. Rate of interest you have fifteen percent. That is one sum. Fifty thousand is your incremental cash outflow. Twenty thousand. This is three point three five two three minus fifty thousand. Six seven zero four six minus fifty thousand. This is rupees one seven zero four six. This since incremental net present value is positive, hence it is better decision to buy S machine. Since incremental. नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू पॉजिटिव हेंस 
it is better decision to buy machine yes. this is a very easy question okay thank you class please like subscribe and share my videos